Would you like to learn how to make some delicious smoked shotgun shells? Just like this? Well, in this episode of the Lisa D's Delight Show, I'm going to show you how to make some super yummy smoked shotgun shells. We're going to use some sweet Italian sausage, some cheese, and some other yumminess. You make your smoked shotgun shells like this, your tailgate party will never be the same. Lisa D, delight. LDD family, you hungry? Let's please some palates. Here are a few of the things that you will need for this recipe, but as usual, your exact ingredients and measurements and such will be in the description box below. It's optional in this recipe, but I like to add bell peppers because I love bell peppers. They're filled with antioxidants, and it's another clever way to get more vitamins up into your naughty food. But if you don't wanna add it, do you boo boo. I was just trying to help your palate. So I took the Italian sausage out of its casing and I mashed it up. And now I'm going to add in my peppers and onions and cheese and some barbecue seasoning. This recipe is really very versatile. You can really put anything that you like in it. You can use chopped beef, chopped meat instead of um, Italian sausage. I made it that way before, but I tend to like it better with the Italian sausage. And you can use any kind of cheese. I'm using a four state cheddar cheese and any kind of barbecue seasoning will work as well. But don't put on too much seasoning because we're going to also season the outside of the shells. Some people add cream cheese to this. Some people add green chilies. I like to add a little barbecue sauce on the inside. Doing that makes it more flavorful and moist. You know you like your meat moist. Girl, it's a family show. <laughs> mixy, mixy, mixy. Football season is upon us, so this is the perfect appetizer to have during Sunday night football or a banging tailgate party. Yup, sure you'll. You want to preheat your smoker to 300 degrees, by the way. So I made the shells two ways. One time when I made the recipe, I pre-boiled the shells. And that was actually good because the end result was like a more softer shotgun shell. But in this video, I recorded me not pre-boiling the um, shells. And that was good too, it's just that the shells had a more al dente type feel to it. But me, I'm fat, I like it either way. But if you don't like your pasta al dente, I would suggest to pre-boil the shells before. The only thing when you pre-boil it, they do have a tendency to break up and split, but you can work around it. And pretty much when you wrap the bacon around it, you won't even see the splits and the um, cracks anyway. So now we're just gonna stuff our meat and cheese mixture into the matacati shell, or however you pronounce the child shell. You could use a piping bag to do this, but I like to use my fingers because I like to be one with my food. <laughs> just kidding. To me, using my fingers is easier because you could just push it all up and down there real good. Like homegirl said, the shells will be al dente if you don't pre-boil them. But another way to get them more soft is to prepare this the night before and let it marinate in the refrigerator overnight. And that way the shells will get softer. But if you can't do it overnight, at least let this sit in the refrigerator for four hours. That way the shells will soften up if you don't pre-boil them. Tell me in the comments who's your team. Not that I would know anyway. I don't know anything about football. Like I said, I'm fat and I'll use any excuse to make something magically delicious. <laughs> now that we got these babies all nice and stuffed, let's go ahead and wrap them with some good old swine. If you don't eat pork, I'm sorry for you. I hope things get better. <laughs> you could use turkey or beef bacon. It won't be as good though. I was just trying to help your palate. <laughs> Before you start to wrap the shells with the bacon, try to stretch out the bacon a little bit if you can. And then just proceed to wrap the shells just like so, overlapping the bacon and try to cover as much of the shell as you can. Want to hear a joke? You know you like to chuckle while you cook. Why do pigs make awful football players? because they don't like playing with the pigskin.
Okay, that sucked. Let me try again. Why do pigs make awful basketball players? Because they hog the ball. Duh. Girl, just stick to your strengths. Mm-mm-mm, Lord. Just put the dang barbecue seasoning on the dang child. My bad, my bad. Be sure to season the front and the back of the shells. Just a light dusting, not too much of the seasoning. I also added a little bit of dried parsley. The parsley doesn't have any flavor. It just makes everything look all vibrant and pretty. Now off to the smoker we go. Follow me. Lisa D. Delight. This is my new best friend. Her name is Big Buddy Brenda. I don't get out much. I got to take any kind of friend I could get. <laughs> She's a Pit Boss 1150 series. So you want to set your smoker to 300 degrees. And once it comes up to temp, go ahead and put on the shotgun shells. And you want to let them smoke for one hour or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees. One hour later. After one hour, this is what we're working with. They're just about done. The only thing we have to do now is hit them with some barbecue sauce. Oh, and these are my delicious pig shots. I'm filming two videos today. It's giving multitask queen. This is another super yummy football appetizer. Depending on when you're seeing this, the recipe link may be above. Now we're gonna put on a light coating of your favorite barbecue sauce. Mine's a Sweet Baby Ray's. Just keep it nice and light and tight. After you get all of them all nicely coated, then you want to let them smoke for another 10 minutes. And then after that, they're done, son. Wow, wow, wow. Look at how delicious. This is the best part of football season, in my fat girl opinion. They really came out so good, y'all. Y'all really got to try this recipe. And thank you to my Lord and Savior for always blessing me and the LDD family. Father, we love you, praise you, and can do nothing without you. Now, God said we have got to take a moment of silence for all this deliciousness up in her. Say it with me. Super yummy. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. And always remember, when you cook from your heart with love, you can't go wrong. Have a delicious and delightful day. Bye. Bye.